It's no secret that, to many, Geo is the worst element in the game. Aside from physical, that is, though even that is debatable given the accidental improvements to that aspect of the game, such as Raiden's elemental skill for Eula and the introduction to Mika later on. Geo, however, saw its last improvement in the form of Ito and Goro, both units who were featured in my previous videos. Goro being a Geo-specific buffer that is restricted to Geo compositions only to maximize his buffs, contrary to Sara, Faruzan, and Shin He who all pass on the same buff regardless of composition or the amount of respective elements in their party. Goro relies inherently on the Mono Geo team, much like how the value of Nilo lies solely in Bloom teams. Unlike Nilo, however, Geo is solely carried by two units, Ito, whose value is entirely based around how often you use Mono Geo teams and if you have the units to support him, and Zhongli, who for the most part has single-handedly carried the element itself, as without him, Geo would have likely faded into obscurity after Ito's release. Though even with that being said, most players don't take Zhongli's element into consideration when using him, that is entirely due to Crystallize. Conveniently, Geo's only elemental reaction being Crystallize has made it by far the least intrusive elemental reaction in the game while also solely highlighting the weakness of this reaction and this element by far. But for context sake, let's clarify what it actually does, and how it affects Geo as a whole. As of right now, Geo is an element that's based around three specific aspects or stats you need to watch out for. Standard attack scaling for units like Ningguang, Zhongli, and Albedo's Burst. Defense scaling for units like Noel, Ito, Albedo's Skill, Yunjin, and Goro. And Elemental Mastery for Crystallize. See, despite the defensive utility this should provide you with, Crystallize runs into two separate issues specifically with Geo. The first is that for units like Noel and Zhongli, the shield provided by this reaction is far weaker than the one they naturally create. And secondarily, the shield itself incentivizes building a third stat, that being Elemental Mastery, which stretches and spreads your units far too thin as you're building attack for their bursts, defense for their main usage, and then Elemental Mastery for a shield you probably don't even care about. Given that I mentioned him, but let's talk about Albedo, because I do believe Albedo himself exemplifies a lot of the flaws with this element, despite the other units we do have. Now, Albedo's normal attack and his elemental burst both scale with standard attack units. This means, or this is subsequently why, something like Jade Cutter can work on him. However, if you're looking at his skill, it scales entirely with defense. This means that you want to build both of these relatively equally, unless you're prioritizing him just as an off-field unit, like he would with somebody like Fischl. However, Albedo's elemental burst after you use it gives you elemental mastery. This does increase your crystallized shield strength, but it's only useful for units like Hu Tao and a vape team, or someone like Yoimiya, because you have other ways of sharing that like Sucrose or Diona C6. This already is kind of an iffy situation. However, his C2 entirely fixes that. The benefit of the C2 is that because it increases, you know, his defense scaling with its elemental burst, units like Goro can to a degree work. But for the most part, with Albedo's artifacts, you just want defense because his burst doesn't matter. On one hand, that isn't a bad thing. But if we're swapping over to the Geo Archon himself, he doesn't need defense in the slightest because all his abilities scale off HP. Even these get a bonus from HP and attack. So it's a mixture of both. They're not entirely scaled with HP. This scales with HP. This is attack and this is attack. And none of these constellations change that inherent scale. So what this means is that you have this five-star Geo unit who wants HP and attack you have this 5 star Geo unit who wants defense and attack, and then you have Ito, who I don't have in my account, that only wants defense. Meanwhile, if you're scrolling all the way down to the back end of this, Ningguang solely wants attack. That is it. She does not want defense in the slightest. Noel wants defense. Meanwhile, if we're going to Goro here, he, his skill essentially is what you want to prioritize here. It just buffs defense. It's just a Geo damage and defense increase. And at C6, he increases crit damage of Geo damage itself. But Goro's buff inherently works and benefits units like Ito, Noel, and Albedo much more than it does a Zhongli or a Ningguang. But by itself, none of these are really good. The only reason you use Zhongli in a lot of teams is because his shield is incredibly strong and it reduces resistances. All of these, as in his burst, isn't necessarily worth using unless you have something like C2 to give you the shield and something like a Staff of Home to justify the damage. Outside of that, it's not worthwhile. And Albedo, despite the Elemental Mastery buff, was good in a Hu Tao double Geo team. Was being the primary thing, but if you have Yelan and Shinjo, it doesn't matter because this double Hydro team beats out that team. So if we're just looking at it from a team composition standpoint, 
it doesn't matter because geo inherently is such a weak element and crystallize inherently is such a weak reaction most of the units specifically the main geo unit you use overrule the element's reaction with the shield they create now one of the primary things that got buffed by geo with geo with the increase of zhongli as well is enduring rock the elemental resonance that increases your shield strength by 15 percent which is fine because it's almost the equivalent to it's like almost half of a bolide set but it also increases the damage dealt overall and geo resistance shred. The geo resistance shred only benefits mono geo team, I'm gonna be honest here, or unless you're using someone like Albedo. It doesn't benefit everybody else, so ignore it. But this first percentage of the damage dealt increased by 15%, that's relatively useful. It's useful enough, crystallized, ignoring that. Most of the geo units you use, like Zhong Li, provide you with a shield you're pretty much always getting that passive. The problem with this is our current roster. As I mentioned before, if we're looking at this roster with our Hyphen being the latest release, Wanderer, the last Geo unit any of us saw was Arataki Ito, who was, to keep in mind, over a year ago, I believe. And this isn't a good thing. Geo is one of the most neglected elements in the game. Goro and Yunjin are collectively the only four-star Geo units you'd actually use. Ningguang fell out of relevancy after other units were added, and Noel is good, but a lot of people showed her more attention after Redhorn got out. Yoon Jin is only used by individuals who use either Ayato or Yoimiya, and Tagoro being restricted means that nobody is using him unless they already use Geo. The problem is, every other element is in some way shape or form valuable in some degree to everyone else. Layla, her shield is useful for a lot of teams if you don't have a Zhongli or a shielder already. Dory, she doesn't exist. Yayao is really good for dendro based teams. Kale is a great dendro applier if you need someone to do it from ranged, especially if you're fighting with bosses. Heizo is a good animal damage dealer. Kugishinobu is a healer, for one that already puts her in a great position, and she also helps with reactions. Even Chi Chi has her placed as an elemental healer who slightly applies cryo. If you ever see six, you can revive your entire team in a base. That's decent enough. But the fact that we got so many original units, two Geo units had to wait a year for the next Geo unit and then have gone essentially an entire year or more without getting another one is a bit strange. Now, it's not nearly as bad as Eula, who is the last physical damage unit, but keeping this in mind, even physical has more supports. Shenha's burst reduces physical resistance. You have super conduct provided by Raiden's elemental skill that also increases Yulu's burst damage, which is the primary source of damage in her kit. Physical gets more support than Geo, and as of right now, Geo is in the same position as Dendro, where they have the exact same amount of five-star units, with Nahida, Tignari, and Alhaitem being the counterpart to Ito, Zhongli, and Albedo. That is not a good thing. And then for everyone who's looking at someone like Tignari and Dea being added to standard, there is no five-star Geo unit in standard. I'd even argue and say Albedo is such a low value at the moment, he should just be thrown into standard. Because the C2 is actually really good, and all the individuals who like Albedo would have a chance to grab him. Because I do think his C2 is way more valuable than any of his other constellations. This doesn't even benefit Xiao that much, and his C6 is a 17% damage increase, but eh, eh. Eh, you know, I'd say C6 technology is better. I just think that it's very odd that we have such an oversaturation of other elements. Electro was, for the longest time, neglected. When Raiden came out, we got Raiden, then we got Sara, we had Sino now, we got Kuki now, we have Dory. We have much more Electro units now. I can accept Denjo being a bit behind because it was just added, but Animal consistently gets decent-ish units. The last animal unit we got being Faruzan as the buffer and Hazo. That's fine because animal is such a good element already. Even if you pull a gene, that gene is really valuable from the beginning. Geo is dead in the water and it has, in my opinion, some of the best designs. Like if we're looking at just these character, you know, summon screen, the gotcha splash animations, they're beautiful. Let's all be honest here. No one uses Geo unless they either A, really love Geo and really love uh, Arataki Ito, or B, have Zhongli. And Zhongli's element never plays a role in why you use him. You don't use Zhongli and say, man, that crystallizes really what I want. You use Zhongli because you say, man, that shield is what I want, or the petrification. So I just think it's very unfair. Elements are unbalanced, inherently. And this has been a long-winded rant on Geo specifically. Let's not even talk about how Pyro, for instance, used to be top tier. It had Vaporize and it had Melt. 
then it kind of got pushed to the side and we had characters like Klee, who were, you know, okay-ish, weren't really received well. Hu Tao, who overshadowed pretty much everybody else, then Yoimiya, who kind of stood a downward spiral, and since then, she's the last 5-star power unit we have, except Dea, but she's being added to standard, so are you really going to count her when Dea is going to be right next to another Dilu? Meanwhile, Electro got buffed to oblivion. I mean, it went from being okay-ish, to bad, to amazing in Hyper Bloom team. Same thing with Hydra, which is one of the most valuable or the most valuable element to date. It's just really weird that we've seen elements like Electro that were previously bad, risen to on par or close to Animo. Meanwhile, elements like Geo have slowly faded into obscurity. Dendro was the perfect opportunity to buff Geo. Why does the earth and plant not react? I don't understand that. It would have been a great opportunity. But instead, we got Hyper Blue, which I don't understand. Instead, I can understand things like Cryo not reacting because Cryo was already a really good element. I can understand things like, you know, Burning not being the best. I can understand Animal not reacting with Denjo, but Geo needed it as much as Electro, if not more so. So I'm a bit confused. But give me your opinions. Hey, maybe you consider something like Cryo to be the worst element now. I don't know. But I do know it's incredibly unfair and imbalanced to individuals who just, if you just prefer Geo characters, you are going to have a tough time. Because sure, you have a very small roster to pick from, but it's not necessarily the best roster, especially when every other element gets so many unique advantages. Oh, you want to fly? Here's a flying character. Oh, you want to inherently boost an entire reaction? Here's that character. Oh, you want to teleport like a Ching, but not have to use Kaching? Here you go. You want to buff your entire element? Go ahead. You want to refund energy? Go ahead. And then you get in. You want to hit things for charge attacks? Cool. Isn't this the same design standpoint we got angry at Yoimiya for having? Because instead of clicking one button entirely, you're holding one button in counting stacks, which realistically isn't much different. Hey, that's my opinion. Give me yours down below. Consider subscribing. This is less scripted than my usual ones, but I just, I feel like elemental reactions are much easier to talk about in general because let's be honest here, we all play this game because the reactions are fun and we like to combat a bit more. I like to combat personally and I like the characters, but one element in particular has just kind of been left in the dust. Eula, she's in the basement right now. I'll talk about Eula when she actually releases. But either way, I'll see you next time.